And now at noon, while tensions escalate between Russia and the U.S., astronauts from the two countries are keeping cosmic peace, you might say. Yeah, earlier this morning, an American astronaut came back to Earth catching mm -hmm. a ride on a Russian Soyuz capsule. Yep. CBS 4's Mark Strassman has the details. Touchdown. The Russian Soyuz capsule landed in Kazakhstan. That smiling American astronaut, Mark Vandehe, along with two Russian cosmonauts. Is that my hat? Vandehe spent 355 days at the International Space Station, longer than any other American in a single mission. He returns to an altered political landscape, with Russia now at war in Ukraine. But up in space, Station, this is Houston. crews float above the hostility. They're out there aware of what's going on on Earth, absolutely. Uh, but the teams are professional. Have ignition and lift off. For two decades and counting, Russians and Americans have lived and worked together in space. NASA's administrator expects that partnership to continue. We have our problems with President Putin on Earth. If he pulled the plug on this tomorrow, would the whole thing be? At risk. If they abandon the space station, mm -hmm. uh, we'd manage, we'd figure it out. But uh, we don't anticipate that. It's survived all these years. It's not going to stop now. But just last month, Dmitry Rogozin, the head of Russia's space agency, implied the Russians might abandon ship. He demanded ISS partner nations lift their sanctions, tweeting, who will save the ISS from an uncontrolled deorbit and fall into the United States or Europe? Scott Kelly commanded the ISS for three missions. If Putin pulls out, could the Americans alone make it work? It wouldn't be easy. Um, is it impossible? I would say no. For now, in orbit, it's space business as usual. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Atlanta. And the U.S. wants to prolong the life of the space station to 2030. Russia has yet to commit past 2024.